Now, back here in South Korea, the National Assembly is in full swing as lawmakers are deliberating on the government's multi billion dollar extra budget bill and also a government reorganization uh, plan. Uh, all this is happening, so it's hopefully ready for a full floor vote on uh, Tuesday. That is tomorrow. For more, we connect to our Kim Minji on the phone. Uh, Minji, reviews of this extra budget bill have been going on throughout the weekend. That's right, Mark. Marathon review sessions have been ongoing since last Friday, and all this in order to get the bill ready for a vote on Tuesday when the National Assembly holds its full meeting. A subcommittee will be fine-tuning the details of the bill throughout today, but it's not a simple task. Rival lawmakers are at odds, especially over the portion of the budget directed at increasing the number of public sector jobs. The ruling parties say this is needed so as to recruit more workers starting this year, but but the opposition is refusing to budge, saying that this part needs to be revised as it will be a bigger burden on taxpayers in the future. Meanwhile, the National Assembly's Public Administration Committee has begun deliberating on the government's reorganization plan. It calls for the establishment of a new ministry supporting small and medium-sized companies, as well as designating the fire service and the Coast Guard as independent agencies rather than part of the Public Safety Ministry. Now, the committee plans to put that bill up for a full, a full floor vote on Tuesday as well. The review was to take place earlier this month, but was delayed due to a deadlock in Parliament over President Moon's cabinet picks. OK, so Tuesday should be uh, the big day in the National Assembly, providing they can agree on those things. Um, confirmation hearings, though, they are still in process for President Moon's cabinet. And uh, we understand that there is another uh, Q&A session happening today. Yes, that's right. In the hot seat today is Che jong gu tapped as the chairman of the Financial Services Commission. He was the head of the Export-Import Bank of Korea, so ruling lawmakers are expected to question him on his expertise and policies that he wants to pursue to assess his fitness for the job. But opposition lawmakers will most likely scrutinize him over ethical issues. Before his hearing began, Che vowed to pursue financial policies for the underprivileged and socially vulnerable in line with the government's plan to pursue income-led growth that's centered around job creation. He also said the biggest tasks ahead are stabilizing people's livelihoods and managing the country's high household debt. Back to Mark.